welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. POA. Welcome back to our channel. Today is going to be another project and getting something fixed but upgrading. So we bought a new sink. Um, the one that we have came with the RV. It has two little spots. I think it's called like bowls. Barbie. Bowls. Two yeah, little bowls. Two little bowls. So um, when we were doing our dishes and everything, there wasn't much room uh, for the pots and pans and so forth. So we were researching on some of the groups that we're following for Gulfstream and uh, some people installed one that is one tub. It's bigger, it still fits in our space, um, and it's made out of metal, no plastic. Yeah, so Becky decided to put some things on fire and um, they got a little out of control and I threw it in the sink and may have melted our sink a little bit. So we've been having a little leaking problem. So not only did I melt it, the gasket was starting to fail. So we have to get a new one anyways. So it's time to upgrade. Yeah. This is kind of going to be a different project. I mean, a difficult because it's not really putting everything back in the same place. Our drain is going to have to change from two to one. So we're going to get be getting rid of some pipes and we're going to be adding in some pipes and we're hoping that everything can be easy on us. <laughs> so uh, we'll keep it as real as possible so that way you can see our struggles. Yeah. Well, let's get started. Yeah. Okay, here's our sink. It has one hole for the faucet and there's the drain here. It looks like it's three and a half inches or so. And then um, to help convert it to the drains, we ended up getting this kitchen sink strainer. And then for our faucet, we got this from Lowe's uh, to pull down kitchen faucet. And then we got the silicone put around. We got some more piping. Um, converts from one and a half to one and a quarter, so forth. Where these connections, uh, there's no threading really on the pipe for it. So if we have to, we can cut this to whatever length that we want. So that is a bonus. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so before you start taking everything apart, make sure you turn your pumps off and you drain out your system. Because when you start opening up the pipes to cut, and redo all the situations inside, you don't want water in the piping. So just turn it on and also make sure everything's cleaned out from underneath. Okay, first we need to get the sink and these plumbings and everything out of here. So release these pipes and the P-trap, but I need to put a bucket underneath that so make sure all the water drips in there. Disconnect these pipes right here. The hot water and the cold water is just around here. Then I'm going to disconnect these screws. And then once all of that's disconnected, we should be able to pop this right out. <laughs> Our old sink. And then right here, we just got to clean up this whole silicone and mess. All right, I had to run to the store to get a connector so it can connect to these big connections that came with it. So that's why I had to get this. So that was the first quick run that I had to do today so far but first we're gonna move this electrical outlet I gotta disconnect the power from the circuit breaker disconnected so I'm gonna unscrew this disconnect the wires take the panel out flip the panel the other way so the hole is over here and then reconnect everything I am done Nice and tight all the way around. I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna take a zip tie, zip tie this together, 
voila, the electrical is done. Now, next is the main project, the sink. All right, let's see what the sink is gonna look like. This is the new sink. Deep, single bowl, faucet on the left. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> this is what our new sink is gonna look like. So pretty. And as I said, it's deeper in the inside. Damn. <laughs> Let's get the faucet. Okay, this is what our new sink is gonna look like. Pre-existing. And nothing's installed yet. Okay. Don't it look so great? So pretty. Okay. Uh we looked over a few things and it's time to install the sink. And we are going to attach the faucet and start connecting all the water connections together. And then after that, we're gonna do the drains. Um, that seems to be the most difficult part of, a, part of this project. Now as for the hot water and the cold line, they couldn't fit our connection that is with it. I know you can't see it right now, but I showed you earlier. So I had to buy an adapter that's a straight connection from a one half to a three eighths chrome adapter. Because this is a three eighths connection and that was a one half connection. You just take off this last nut and the gasket that came with it and screw it onto the cold water and now I got the cold water connected tighten that up hand tight and then I do the same thing for the hot water take off the top nut and connect this one and now I connect this to the hot water do the same thing for the cold. Done. So our water lines are back in order. We just need to get our drains connected now and we should be done. And then last but not least, we'll have to seal up all around here. Okay, now it's time to measure the pipe that's gonna come from the bottom of the drain I'm not a plumber. You gotta find a better situation than that. It looks like it's pretty much just missing that elbow. Hello. Looks like we're coming across a couple of problems. Like I said, I'm not a plumber. Coming across a problem with the basically the drain pipes and now it looks like I'm gonna have to cut off one of the pipes to get rid of that elbow right there. But from my eyes, that pipe that's connected to the elbow that I'm getting rid of is a little bit fatter than the rest of the pipes. So I'm trying to figure out how can I disconnect that and connect that to the rest of the system. So a couple of mistakes here and there. Had to run to the store like 30 different times and trying to figure out the best way I can to make this situation workable. So the sink is great. The plumbing sucks. <clears throat> All right, I'm back from the store. I got the piece that we're gonna try to use, which is gonna be this from a big pipe, which is going to the wall and then the small pipe and we just screw it in and tighten it down. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner, but I was so worried on trying to get the elbow to go back it up, but I was told it's already going through a P-trap. We don't need an elbow to make it go back up again. Just shoot it straight across right after the P-trap and that should be good. But first, I'm gonna focus on this bad boy strainer. So to get this sealed in there and have a good tight seal, we need to use plumber's putty. 
Let's play with some dough. First we grab out a piece and roll it like a snake. Give it a good roll. Stick that in. Push that down. And we'll take the gasket, the paper gasket, and the nut and screw it under here. Well, that's done. Let's get to the difficult task, plumbing. I am not a plumber. I am not a plumber, but I try my hardest. What I'm gonna try to do first is connect this pipe to this to touch, to connect with that pipe. But screw that in nice and tight, get these water pipes out the way, and then get this one on. Plumbing is done. Everything is locked in tight. And all the plumbing is together. Now all we need to do is just seal off the top to make sure it doesn't go nowhere. And we should be done, finally. We tested the water, all the water works and there's no leakage. Now the next part is the drain and making sure there's no leakage. Now we got the silicone around. We have to put pressure on these two corners because they were a little wobbly wobbly. Right now we're just gonna let all of this dry. We'll give it 24 hours. Um, our water is working, our drain is connected, but we don't know if the drain has any leak. It should not have any leaks, but if so, I can take um, open up and fix whatever needs to be fixed, whatever's causing the leak. All right, welcome back. It is now day three, three of this project to see if any of our water drips when we put water down into the pipes. See if we have to snug anything up. And it's definitely where Fabian added that little coupler. And then we're also gonna take off the blue tape and we're going to make this look a little bit more prettier. I just put a couple little dots and with my finger just smushed it in. That way it can get inside the little gappy little hole that we can see. Right now it's basically time to test the drain and make sure nothing is leaking on the bottom. Well, thank you for coming along this journey with us on another repair to make this home our home. But now we have a full deep dish, better sink with a hose. We can have water fights inside the RV. Uh -huh. And we can even clean more dirty dishes or keep more dirty dishes in it. But we want to thank you once again for watching and just keep following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget about our Patreon account where you can help us make more videos like this. All the links and what we use will be located down below. And also comment down below if you have any input or did you do the same thing with your RV and what did you use? And if you like what we did as well, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. So you get more notifications of what we're doing and what we're traveling as we continue proceeding onward in America. Follow our travels. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.